Hello, hello youth! Uh, how are you today? Hope this finds you really well and good. Um, be praying for you, hoping that you're doing okay. Well, today is Monday, Monday the 23rd of March. Bit of a strange Monday. Some of you uh, might have been in school today. Uh, if your parents had to go to work because uh, they were in really key, key worker jobs, um, and some of you will have been off school today, so it might be really weird for, for everyone, really. Um, but I hope uh, that everyone's managed to at least be near a window and see the sunshine today. Sunshine is such a blessing, and it's really important. Um, and hopefully you've been able to get outside in a sensible way, um, not overcrowding these outdoor places, and um, and just to, doing doing our best, really, to uh, to do what we can and uh, keep ourselves safe and keep everyone else safe um, and so yeah it's been been a week uh, since the government announced uh, that everyone was to work from home um, if they could and kind of when we're as a church we're like what we're going to do about Sunday services and all the churches across the country uh, said we're going to have to stop meeting in real life and um, and so yeah, it's been really different. Uh, today I've been working from home. Uh, this is uh, this is my desk. Uh, this comes down, and I've uh, been working here on my computer, trying to get some stuff done. Done a few new thumbnails. You might have noticed these um, for my YouTube things. Uh, that's cool. And uh, and so with um, with all all these changes, actually, there's a lot of people calling these things the new normal, and. Uh, and I suppose, yeah, what, what we're trying to say, what they're trying to say is that um, these things will have to last for a long time and so we just got to get on and uh, and do our best and be resilient uh, and uh, and this is going to be the the new normal for a while. Um, and, and I was thinking with that comes a lot of anxiety, doesn't it? I mean, all our lives have changed significantly, um, really, really massively significantly, haven't they? Some... Some for more than uh, more than for others. Um, some people are working um, like such long hours, like all the NHS staff. Big thumbs up, big shout out to the NHS staff. Um, they are absolutely wonderful. Plus all the other key workers, um, kind of just delivery drivers, uh, big drivers of, uh, drivers of big huge vans that keep the nation going, that keep things ticking over. Um, there's so many people out there. Um, who are working so hard um, and big thumbs up to them and the people who are at home um, and, like, and can't work from home but have to stay at home um, people have been working hard as well making fun fun videos uh, which is which is great um, uh, and uh, and all this of course is really really important to say that we've got to keep one another safe um, we will all know people who are more vulnerable than others and so it's just really important to try try and keep one another safe uh, but also keep one another buoyed up um, and encouraged and to say keep going during this difficult time which make uh, which we will now come to um, the passage for today I talked about anxiety and um, that anxiety levels do increase and um, and you might be experiencing some anxiety for yourself, and um, and so I want to tell you about this verse today. The verse is Matthew chapter eleven, verses twenty-eight to thirty, and this is what this verse says. This is Jesus speaking, and uh, this is what he says. He says, "Come to me, all you who who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest." Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am, ge I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now those are wonderful verses, and you might have heard some of them before, um, but there's some kind of strange imagery in there uh, that I want to show you now. So I um, haven't got access to a printer at home, so I've had to draw this. Excuse my drawing. Um, here we go. <laughs> uh, this is a cart and a horse, half a horse with no head, uh, pulling the cart and this is meant to be like an idol and this is a heavy idol p pulling down on a cart and then um, and then the horse or horses uh, are pulling it with a yoke. This is what's called a yoke. It's not the inside of an egg bit 
uh, it is um, a different type of thing that they put over the shoulders of horses and oxen and it, and it they take the weight and it's a burden it's, it's burdensome and heavy and this is what Jesus is referring to in this passage uh, in the uh, Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30 passage but he's also really exciting and I only found that, this out a few weeks ago he's also Jesus knows his Old Testament and referring to Isaiah chapter 46 I'm going to read out verse 1 to 4 for you now so if you think of this kind of like idols being carried um idols being carried by uh by horses by oxen they're heavy they're burdensome this is what Isaiah 46 says so let me put this up so you know what I'm reading here we go haven't quite got it on screen yet but this will have to do all good um we're all adapting so this is what it says Isaiah 46 says Bel bows down Nebo stoops low those are kind of Babylonian gods their idols are born by beasts of burden the images that are carried about are burdensome a burden for the weary can you spot it can you spot the link verse 2 they stoop and bow down together unable to rescue the burden they themselves go off into captivity listen to me you descendants of Jacob all the remnant of the people of Israel you whom I have upheld since your birth and carried since you were born even to your old age and grey hairs I am he I am he who will sustain you I have made you and I will carry you, I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Even uh, to your old age and grey hairs, I will rescue you, Jesus says, God says in this. But Jesus also knows this passage because he does refer to it. Notice how uh, it talks about burdens in both. And so the burdens that the, the beasts carried, they were, they were actual physical idols and they were heavy and they were burdensome. Um, and they made the animals weary. Uh, and Jesus is saying that we too have our burdens. We have our idols. And actually, they weigh us down. And one of the really helpful thing, ways of spotting what we are idolising is saying, what is weighing you down? What is really a burden? What do you kind of get to the end of the day and think, I wish that was different. I am so burdened by this. That might be an idol. It, might, it won't always be an idol, but it might, it might well be. It might be an idol of, of pride, of wanting people to think the best of you, of wanting to please people all the time. It might be wanting to, uh, to be the best at everything. It might be wanting to control things that are happening around us uh, or feeling out of control, and that feels like a burden. Uh, and all these things are idols. And Jesus, referring to uh, Isaiah 46, uh, in Matthew 28, he says, Come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he also says more than this. Let's flick back. Flick back to Matthew 11. He says, Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus will take these heavy idols off our shoulders and give us rest. And he says something else really interesting. He says, Take my yoke upon you. So Jesus isn't just going to free us, he's actually going to put something on us and that, that yoke, that burden, burden, is actually following him. But, but listen to what he says about the nature of this burden. He says, um, for I am gentle and humble in heart, not like the idols. The idols just want to consume you, but Jesus is gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. And then verse 30, for my yoke is easy and my burden is is light not heavy like the idols Jesus burden is light in fact almost not like a burden um, but he's using that word because he wants to compare it to, to so it, it's just making that point okay so Jesus doesn't give us burdens uh, in that sense that weigh us down make us weary Jesus takes them off and replaces it with uh, with the command to follow him and to rest in him and so uh, this is, here we go, our point today, take your burdens to Jesus from Matthew 
11 verses 28 to 30. And how cool is it that we know what the Old Testament says as well and how it links up. I love these links in the Bible and it ha works together as one and that Jesus knew his Old Testament. He knew the book of Isaiah um, and it's just so really clever. And all the imagery about the... Uh, the kind of the horses or oxen and the idols and the burdensome and the weariness. Um, really cool. So, oh, hang on. My piece of paper's just fallen. And the reason I need this is because this is actually, I was using this as my bookmark. Uh, and this is a song that we sung in a church uh, a few weeks ago. And um, it's a new one by City of Light. And it's called What Gift of Grace is Jesus My Redeemer? And... It's got four long verses, I'm not going to read them out to you, don't worry. Um, but I'll put the link in the description below um, to, uh, to this by City Light. And um, it's just fantastic about, actually, the, the night might be dark around me, uh, but uh, the night is dark, but I am not forsaken. Jesus has not let me down. For by my side, the Saviour, he will stay. I labour on in weakness and rejoicing, for in my need... His power is displayed. There's so much in this, I don't have time to explain right now. Um, but this is a fantastic song. So, uh, big lesson, take your burdens to Jesus. Uh, because he wants to take them off you. He doesn't want you to be slaves to idols anymore. And, um, and so, uh, I hope, hope you're doing alright. Uh, I wish I could hear from you, but I can't. Uh, if Please get in touch with me via your parents. Uh, that'd be great. If you're not from uh, St Bart's Church, then please uh, go and chat to your youth workers or your parents or someone else in the church who, um, who you can talk to, uh, because it's good to keep in touch together, isn't it? Um, so, go uh, remember the Lord, take your burdens to Jesus, pray to him, and uh, look up that uh, YouTube video of that, What Gift of Grace is Jesus My Redeemer? Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully with more content. I've asked some other people to be feeding in some more exciting content so it's not just me all the time. Uh, but uh, God bless and see you tomorrow.